remember there was one, um, I think it was the weekend, I think it was like a Sunday afternoon, that was about a month or so before we were going to start shooting and the set was standing there in the studio ready to go. And I got a few of the of the people on the film, Rick Porras, um, our, our, our co-producer came along and, uh, and uh, one of the special effects guys and I was there and we had our screenplay. Peter could talk me and the rest of us into anything. Initially, he worked through, he said, okay, well, what we'll do is, uh, you know, I'll direct this stuff. We had Brian Van Tull um, do the camera work. Uh, Charlie McClellan, who was uh, one of the visual effects producers at the time, he started off as, as Gandalf. And Randy Cook, our animation director, he, he played Sam. Peter was playing, well, he wasn't playing Bilbo to start off with. I think he had Rick Porras playing Bilbo. I, I definitely can't act to save my life. And, uh, you know, but I thought, okay, that's fine. I'll just, I'll read for Pete just so that he can work through the angles. And um, we got to this point in the first scene and Pete goes, cut, great. Okay, so listen, what we're gonna do next is I'll play Bilbo. <laughs> of course, of course. Just waiting for the right moment. Don't leave it too late. He's very fond of you. I know, I know. Uh. Bilbo? I am old Gandalf. I don't look it, but I, I'm beginning to feel it in my heart. <laughs> and I think that's one of the best moments of uh, cinematic history right there. <laughs> Scene 12, shot 24, take 4. Now, isn't that odd? Yet after all, uh, why not? Well, why shouldn't I keep it? I think you should leave it behind, Bilbo. Is that so hard? W well, no. And, and yes, and when it comes down to it, I, I don't feel like parting with it. Why, why should I? What business is it yours, anyway? It's mine. I found it. It came to me. There's no need to get angry. <laughs> well, if I'm angry, it's your fault. That's no, mine. It's my own. It's my precious. It has been called that before, but not by you. God, that miserable wretch. So wicked. He would have killed me. Yeah, I think a weak sneak. Thief. Liar. But it's mine. Bilbo Baggins, do not take me for some conjurer of cheap tricks. <laughs> I'm not trying to rob you, but to help you. All your long years we have been friends. Trust me as you once did. Let it go. I will. Yes. The ring can stay here with Frodo with all the rest. Yes, well, I, I, I must be going. I, I really must be going. It's, it's, I, I'm late. And the road is, is long. Bilbo? Yes? The ring is still in your pocket. Oh, good, good gracious. So it is. Huh. Recording. Okay, this is scene 12, shot three, second half of the shot. 
Well, this is really quite simple. You take it, Gandalf. Here, it's yours. Through me, that ring would wield a power too great and terrible. I would become like the Dark Lord himself. Well, all right. We'll put it back in the trunk. It's not as if the Dark Lord is going to come, come knocking on the door of Bag End. Is he? Is he, Gandalf? I, I tried to find the creature Gollum. I looked everywhere for him, but the enemy found him first. Shire? Baggins? That's gonna lead them straight here. Straight to me. Bang! Samwise Gamgee, you've been eavesdropping. I ain't been dropping no eaves, sir, honest. I was just trimming the hedge under the, the board of the window, if you know what I'm following me. It's a little late to be gardening, Samwise Gamgee. I heard Mr. Frodo cry out. I was worried. Please, Mr. Gandalf, don't hurt me. Don't turn me into anything unnatural.